We are fortunate to live here in Central Oregon where we have such beautiful rivers and streams right in our backyard. Places like the Deschutes River, the Metolius River, Tumalo Creek, and Wychus Creek. We're also fortunate that Oregon voters supported a system of watershed councils to care for those beautiful rivers and streams. The Upper Deschutes Watershed Council was formed back in 1997 as a nonprofit organization in partnership with Deschutes County. Since then, we've been working to achieve our mission to restore and protect the Upper Deschutes watershed through collaborative projects in habitat restoration, watershed education, and long-term monitoring. As one example, in Wychus Creek, the Watershed Council has worked with numerous partners to do things like remove all the dams and fish passage barriers so it's, again, a free-flowing stream. Screened off all the irrigation ditches so fish stay in the creek where they belong. We've restored miles of habitat and we've monitored the response of that restoration work. The changes in the creek since I first met it in 1971 are so dramatic. It's gone from this trickle that dried up some of the time to a vibrant flowing creek that's there year round. And that actually has fish in it and they survive. I'm really happy to be a part of that process and I believe in the work we do so much, and I tell people that I donate every year to the Watershed Council. In 2017, my mother passed away, and so we needed to sell the ranch that I had been on, Pine Meadow Ranch, with a mile of White Shoes Creek on it. And it was really hard for me to lose the creek because I was in the creek every day. I come over like we are right now and get in the creek and walk along it and listen to it. I love the sound of it. I just, it means so much to me. And the fact that I've been a part of it being restored makes it even more important to me. Over the past two decades that I've been working with the Watershed Council, I have learned that the most important way for students and community members to connect to our rivers and streams is through meaningful, hands-on, place-based education. With all of our education and outreach activities, our goal is to educate and engage children and adults to help them develop an informed and inspired sense of place and connection to their home waters. Our students might learn about in-stream conditions in Temelo Creek by sitting along its banks, testing water quality, or writing a piece of poetry about its sparkling, flowing water. Local families get their hands dirty and their feet wet by joining us for our annual Deschutes River cleanup. Through the active work of stream stewardship, community members and students really develop a sense of place and a sense of ownership so that they want to take care of this amazing place we get to call home. I grew up in Sisters, where I was fortunate enough to spend a lot of time with my family outside, camping and hiking and rafting all throughout Central Oregon. I first met Colleen when she led a student stewardship project at Sisters High School, where I was a junior. As part of the project, we transplanted alders and willows from a section of irrigation canal that was about to be piped to a place along Wychus Creek that had been heavily damaged. Spending time by the creek, learning about the hydrology and the science and the importance of the riparian areas really helped me find a sense of place that was tied to the local watershed that I called home. I've continued to come back to the Watershed Council over the last 15 years. I interned with the education program after high school and then came back again after college to support the fundraising program, raising awareness in the community, and went back to the youth education programs that I had been a part of. My time at the Watershed Council inspired me to pursue a master's degree in water resources engineering. I now work to integrate water resilience into climate adaptation plans with countries across the globe. And I still reflect back on my time at the Watershed Council and how important it was for me to connect with my local waters to be able to then work globally. Thanks to our partners and community of supporters, we have achieved so much. 
Please join us in building on this work as we look ahead and continue to restore and protect the Upper Deschutes watershed.